Hi guys, uh, one of our users from our Facebook user group asked if we can um, get analog sounds out of SynthMaster or SynthMaster 1 so I just wanted to give you a demonstration of how we can achieve that to a certain degree uh, I'm starting with a just basic uh, single oscillator now Now this one is using uh, some uh, analog waveforms like the Profit wave and the profit square but whenever I press the note it always starts from the same phase right now like a because it's uh, running as a digital oscillator but if I turn on this free button uh, now each oscillator will start uh, from a random phase So it's, it sounds different compared to this. Uh, in analog sense, uh, the oscillators are always running, so you, you really cannot know at which phase the oscillator is when you press the note. So this is sort of emulating that, uh, but we're actually going to implement uh, a better way to do this. Uh, uh, it's gonna have it's gonna happen in, in the subsequent release. I promised you guys. There is something. Uh, there's another thing we can use to achieve some analog uh, oscillator behavior. Like uh, let me play octaves now. As you hear uh, when I turned on the drift, uh, the oscillator. Uh, uh, pitch starts uh, to change. Its drift is actually a very very slow vibrato which is modulating the pitch of the oscillator but it's very slow like uh, 0 0.1 Hertz uh, it's, and it's, it's a random uh, LFO by the way it's, it's a random low pass uh, frequency oscillator There's something else uh, we can use to mimic analog behavior for the oscillators, which is the scale. Now, right, by default, I'm using equal tempered chromatic scale. But let's change this to... Let's start with equal temper. You see, it's, uh, it's basically not, it's out of tune, because in analog sense, key tracking is not ideal. So... Uh, It's more uh, pronounced in the Andromeda um, tuning. There are some other tricks you can use to get analog behavior, like using these random modulation sources. As you see, whenever I press a new note, the, the value is changing randomly, the fine tune. And you can assign the random modulation source to any knob or slider you see on the user interface. And now I'm going to move on to the filters. The filters you, uh, we have in SynthMaster 1, they're all actually modeled after some digital filters. Since this is a profit preset, I'm going to use the uh, low pass 24 diode ladder filter, which is the type of filter used in um, profit sense. Now, there, there are some other settings here that we can use. For instance, there is this parameter called background noise. Uh, now you're going to have to listen with your headphones to hear this.
even though I can't hear with my headphones right now. Um, let's choose this filter type. Maybe we're going to hear it. Now let's make it off. This is off. On. As you hear, uh, when the background noise is on and the filter is on, uh, we are sh hearing some random background hiss noise. This is inherent in analog synths as well. Let's increase resonance and add some uh, envelope. have a long filter sweep So yeah, this is how you can basically achieve analog behavior, guys. Thanks for listening.